When it comes to learning something new, I think one of the most frustrating things is not even knowing where to start. Sure, you can look things up online, but at the end of the day, it's kind of hard to find reliable, resourceful information when everybody's just pitching you their course or their ebook or whatever. And now that we have tools like ChatGPT, it can be even more frustrating, especially if you don't necessarily even know where to start, right? Because again, how can you ask a thing about something that you're still trying to figure out? So that's definitely a frustrating place to be starting at zero. It doesn't matter if you're learning about stocks or about how to open a food truck, or maybe you just want to know about the history of the Roman Empire. So that's what we're going to talk about today, about a Cray AI project that can help you learn things even when you know nothing about it. As you can see, the one that's just running in the background, all I said was how to open a food truck in San Antonio because, you know, food trucks are pretty competitive in San Antonio. And what we went ahead and did is it gave us an analysis through multiple agents of what the main points would be in order to figure this out. Here we have market analysis, menu development, operation plan, and again, this might seem like a very short response, but in the context of starting from a place of not knowing anything about a certain topic and going through an analysis that gives you a detailed outline on what the next steps would be, that can be very valuable, especially if you're just starting your journey on learning any topic. So real quick, let's go over how this Crew AI project works. So this is made up of four It has your analyzer. So basically when you run this program, it's going to ask you what you want to learn about. You can give it a long response or a short response, but the role of the analyzer is just to figure out what it is that you're talking about. From this point, it's going to pass your response to the subject matter expert. So once the analyzer figures out that you want to know about the history of the Roman Empire, it's going to look for a subject matter expert. In this case, it's going to ask a Roman history subject matter expert what the five most important main points you should know regarding the topic that you're asking about. From here on out, the subject matter expert is then going to pass it to an ebook writer who is then going to write out some thorough essays regarding the topics that you want to know. After this, it's going to pass it on to a Notion editor, and the role of this editor is going to be to pass on the information and format it in a way that you can store it in your Notion account. Now, if you've never used Notion before, I highly recommend it. It's going to be this very nice interface to store your files. This isn't a promo. This isn't, I don't get any money for this, but I barely started using Notion about a year ago. And let me tell you, like, it just makes it that much easier to store information that I want to read later and take notes for myself. Here's one of the samples of what I was working on. I was asking it about the Roman Empire. Now, I'm going to attach the code that you need in order to run this program. If you've been following the tutorials and you were able to set up your Cray AI project from scratch, even if you had no coding experience, even if you didn't even have a code editor, even if you've never installed any of these tools on your computer before, we took you from zero all the way to being able to run these Cray AI projects. I'm going to give you the code that you need in order to run this specific kind of project where I said it's a subject matter expert giving you, or like I said, it's a group of agents basically trying to figure out what it is that you need in order to start learning about the thing that you're curious about. So here we're going to run it one more time. All right, so now let's run our program. Now that it's running, it simply asks you enter a field of study you're curious about. Now this is a very broad statement. You can really ask it anything you want, similar like you could in ChatGPT. But now you have the benefit of it's going to go through multiple agents in order to analyze the response it's going to give you. So let's ask it the question that I know we all have. How do we keep up with AI in the age of AI when everything is moving so fast and when maybe we don't necessarily have enough time to start learning how to code? It's so asked it, how do I keep up with AI in the age of AI where everything is changing so fast and I don't have programming experience? So this is where the interactions with the multiple agents start happening. We see here where the analyzer starts trying to figure out what's the main what's the main academic discipline or interest that this is related to. Here we have where it passes that on or to figure that out. So in this case, it decided that the academic discipline was cognitive science. So here it gave us the five topics that it identified would be most related with AI within cognitive science. Here we have cognitive modeling, how humans and machines process information and decisions to solve problems. Neural networks is related to how artificial intelligence mimics the human brain. Natural language processing so it's just related to how AI is used to generate human language. And we have a few more here. So then we have this communication with the other agent where it asks to provide more in-depth insight and key points in the topics that were mentioned above. In this response, it didn't really provide any very long essays or wrong or long descriptions, but I think it might be because I'm using GPT 3.5 rather than GPT 4. Just for the sake of this video, I didn't want to use 4 because it does take a little bit longer. And here we have the part where here we have the part where everything starts getting formatted for Notion. And here we have our final output. And again, we were able to also output this into .txt. So from here, you can simply take your .txt file. 
We're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it to our Notion document. And here you have your mini ebook on artificial intelligence and robotics. And remember the main question was, what areas of AI would you focus on if you want to try to keep up with the most relevant information now at a point in time when you feel like maybe you don't want to start programming. At the end of the day, AI is meant to mimic human cognitive abilities, so it makes sense that you'd be able to focus on these topics. But now imagine how long it would have taken you to figure this out if you had gone back to school, started a degree, taken a few classes, taken a few courses online to realize that maybe the things you were learning at that point in time may not have been as relevant or as important as these concepts. And again, I'm gonna put the code for this project on a file and then put the link on the description. But I wanna know what projects will you create? What are the problems that you would like to solve? What are the things that you wanna acquire knowledge in using Crew AI? Remember at the end of the day, AI is just a tool. It's still up to you to acquire the knowledge, to acquire the skills and be patient and consistent in that manner. It's not just about social media marketing. It's not just about stock market analysis. With Crew AI, you can really excel in any area of your life that you're passionate about. Let me know what you will use it for in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.